A Texas-sized tycoon and self-made billionaire has died. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cynthia Aguirre. Chris will join us at 6. Today we're remembering the life and legacy of T. Boone Pickens. Condolences are pouring in from everywhere, including Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. Let's get right to Jason Whiteley. Big loss, Jason. A significant loss for business and for North Texas as well, too. And to measure his impact, all you have to do is look at everyone sending condolences condolences this afternoon. Former presidents, CEOs, and a lot of people talking about that one time they met T. Boone Pickens. You know, T. Boone Pickens, the T stands for Thomas, but his friends called him Boone. He's from Oklahoma, born in 1928, but he died at his Dallas home this afternoon from natural causes. Boone made a name in business, taking risks in the oil patch. That made him a fortune. He shook up corporate America in the 1980s, demanding that shareholders get a voice at the board tables. And then he became a billionaire at age 70 with a hedge fund he started. This afternoon, Jerry Jones, as Cynthia mentioned, the Dallas Cowboys owner, he spoke about his friend's competitiveness and his compassion. His love for uh, competing, frankly, was unmatched. A lot of people didn't know that about him, but uh, he wanted to beat you shooting quail. Uh, he uh, he uh, had a lot of Romo in him. He wanted to beat you shooting nick, uh, flipping nickels. Uh, he was a natural born competitor. But with his left hand, when he would be picking up the phone to take some of those risks and really uh, have serious, by any measure, any standard, noteworthy accomplishments in business, he was giving it away with his right hand faster than he could make it. Indeed he was. Boone gave away hundreds of millions of dollars. Buildings, stadiums, and organizations, causes, they all bear his name. In all, Boone's company said his philanthropic impact is more than $2 billion. His funeral is going to be at Highland Park Methodist Church. The exact date and time has yet to be worked out, Cynthia.